Hi there and a warm welcome from New Zealand. Today's video is about laying colors and it's a part of the April showers bring May flowers video series. I've taken a few autumn colors for this video and a list of these colors are in the description box mentioned below. The sketchbook that I use is the usual 1C white of Brighton 160 GSM and the colors are uh, burnt sienna, gold, yellow ochre, red ochre, copper and burnt umber. I take two pots of water, one for the clean water and one to wash the brushes. The brushes um, that I use are from the NAS brush series but any brushes will do. I don't use watercolor brushes for my acrylics. I spritz some water on the paints and um, keep them as thick as possible and then apply them on the um, sketchbook in crisscross directions. I use a flat brush to do it as you can see from the video. This is a useful exercise to know your paints and how they react either with less water, with more water and with the different brushes. So the whole uh, video is, it's a short video and it's fully about just laying these paints. But um, I would highly recommend you do it for all the paints that you have. I hope you're having a good day in whichever part of the world you are in. At the moment, it's bright and sunny in New Zealand, but uh, there's a lot of construction noise going on. So apologies if you hear any noise coming through. I hope you're getting to know your supplies better and um, also learning the different patterns of doodling. I'm having fun doing it, but I do it anyway every morning for 10 minutes and just do things that don't require too much of thinking so this is a very good um, exercise to do with whatever pains you may have and if you're a beginner artist especially this is um, this will come in use for you for all your later artworks if you're new to my channel a very warm welcome and if you've been here before I hope you're enjoying it and learning something about it. If not anything, then at least just take away the fact that um, this series is meant for you to just have fun and enjoy and learn your supplies and doodle. So thank you so much for your support and love. Another thing that I do is um, once I'm in the mood to just use colors. I also prepare backgrounds for many other paintings. Uh, there could be some painting emerging that will suit a background and some just remain as backgrounds. But um, I love doing that and I love making different shapes even while doing backgrounds and either blending it or just leaving as is. So thanks and bye once again and see you tomorrow.